Welcome back my king and queens. It is queen of queens she me and today I'm just going to share with you guys a quick and simple tutorial um, of a hairstyle that I did a couple of weeks or so ago and it was the two it was a pretty much a flat twist from one um, side of my head to the other side and then I had the back pretty much as a twist out and so I really like that hairstyle and I hope you guys enjoy it it's kind of going to be like a chit chat through video in a way I may have some music over it I'm not quite sure yet um if you're wondering about what's going on in the background um we did change the bedrooms around so I'm still kind of playing in this room on how I really want to set it up okay so first things first I'm just going to go ahead and take off my really overstretched headband if you guys do not know you really do not want to have to use a headband that is extremely tight on your hair because it creates a lot of tension on the edges and as of course my edges right here are kind of thin which I am aware of but I do not believe that is from the headbands because I don't wear them really tight so I'm still trying to figure out what it is that I'm doing maybe I need to change my bonnets out I'm not quite sure but I do have a little bit of thinning edges per se so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna part my hair from here and then all the way across to here and I'm just gonna have a whole front section back we'll do that later on so um, so to part my hair I'm just gonna use this rat tail comb I mean it's not anything special um, I really do not use combs a lot on my hair if I do it's typically my pink wide tooth comb um, I got this comb from Sephora it was like eight bucks and I'm in love with this thing it is very sturdy and it really does help with the with detangling as well so I'm gonna be using water and I'm gonna use this leave-in from Cream of Nature. It's their Argon Spray Leave-In. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this freaking stuff. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and start with the back. So typically what I usually do, if you're wondering what these are, these are hair clamps. I section my hair into sections. So typically what I do is I just split my hair down the middle in the back. And so I'm just going to take my hair clamp and tie this section up and out of the way. And then I just have this whole section here which is free and ready for me to detangle. Um, this is a, I would say this is a three day old style. Um, I did do this on Saturday. If you guys hadn't seen my recent video featuring my review and demo from the Purifying Collection by May Beautiful. That is the name of the brand by May Beautiful. And you guys, I fell in love with it. I'm gonna use one of their products again in this video as well. It's gonna become, I believe, one of my fall winter time natural hair care regimen products <laughs> but I really do enjoy it so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna kind of lightly mist my hair with water and my hair isn't dry it's just my hair is low porosity and I just like to make sure that it is moisturized My hair is already starting to soften up and detangle just from that light spritz of water. So I don't want my hair damp so that way it can dry pretty well but also hold a nice style tomorrow when I take it down. I'm going to go in with the Cream of Nature Strength and Shine Leave-In Spray and Conditioner with the Mora with Argon Oil from Morocco um, and it says Shake to Activate. And I believe you guys have seen me use this in another video. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I'm just going to mist my hair. And you guys, I love this stuff. It smells so freaking good. And don't be afraid to spray this on your scalp either because it will help if your scalp is like kind of dry. And I don't oil my scalp a lot, you guys, just only as needed. And I don't think I've told you guys this, but I do not twist my hair every night. I can't do it. I just cannot do it. 
If I twisted my hair every night, I would definitely hate my natural hair. I'm not even going to lie to you. I do the pineapple method. Sometimes I sleep with it just freely on my, um, you know, silk pillow um, case. Or I'll even sleep with it with a bonnet on. It all depends. I'm a lazy natural, but I do take care of my hair. So I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to start at the ends. And I'm just going to detangle. Just take my finger and just slide it through here and I just do a finger part and then I begin you know doing my prepping for my style the next day you guys if you wonder if I'm talking all over the place I'm kind of tired it is getting late my hair is about <laughs> you guys can't even see it it's about right here so that's not bad my hair's been growing so I'm happy about that so I am going to go in with the Pure by May Beautiful Replenishing Styling Cream. It contains shea butter, sea kelp, aloe, and eucalyptus oil. And I will link the card up below so that way you guys can check out my, you know, and first impressions pretty much initial review of this product but i do love it it smells so good and my hair has been light and fluffy ever since i've used this product on saturday take this little section and then two strand twist and there we go so I'm just going to repeat this process. Okay, you guys. So this is the first section. And you guys, like, I freaking love this collection from By May Beautiful because it just has a nice, refreshing scent to it. And I just freaking love it. So if you haven't tried them out, definitely head over to it your can be hard at times, you guys. So I like, try to juggle, like, real life and YouTube. But... Um, all in all, I really do enjoy it. I enjoy creating the content for you guys. Um, I enjoy interacting with you guys. And I'm just a person who just likes to help others who may be in need of some kind of guidance. You know, I don't really just go in on my hair like water, leave-in, oil, cream, like no i only add what my hair necessarily needs this side this side was just like this side so that's pretty good they're pretty much even hey so i'm just gonna do like i did the other side i'm just gonna finger section my hair so i'm just gonna go in again with a little bit more of this cream of nature leave-in but now that i'm using it now i'm starting to see like why i like it so much but then since why I kind of hate it because with leave-ins I feel like they are so important you really have to make sure like you have a really good leave-in and this is a good leave-in like don't get me wrong but it just doesn't seem to last <laughs> and I just remember that but the good thing is I have two more on standby so I don't know but lately though I just really been wanting to just really try to focus more on my natural hair journey you guys but the only problem with that is well you guys know if you've been following me on my channel for some time now um then you guys know I really don't like to do a lot of manipulation to my hair I just really just like try to come to you guys with a lot of tips and tricks you know on natural hair and everything of that sort but um you know, I mean, you see everyone else out here putting out content as well, you know, about different kind of oils and different kind of deep conditioners and different kind of leave-ins and different kind of hairstyles and protective styles. And I'm not one that's really big on extensions or weave, honestly, 
but I do like to protect the styling but again you still in some form in some way you're manipulating your natural hair too because you're braiding with your natural hair or you're you know braiding your hair down to crochet on top of it or things like that and I love the styles don't get me wrong but I just really don't want to manipulate my hair that much so I know that with me trying to be as minimal as possible I also have to keep you guys in mind about what you want as well because I mean that's why you're on my channel that's why you subscribe to me because you guys come to me for natural hair content so you know it's just all I'm just trying to really just stay creative for you guys and try well really in trying to stay creative for myself and what it is that I'm desiring with what with the direction that I wanted my channel to go in um if you guys saw who I had did like a back to school haul like last late last year and um I was going for medical administration but I really just want to go for my entrepreneurship because I really want to be able to go really and truly into business for myself with that being said you know I know it takes a lot of discipline a lot of hard work a lot of patience and also a lot of trial and error as well but I just want that freedom I just want that freedom to not have to worry about getting up every morning punching on a clock and just feeling like I'm just doing the same old thing like I'm a you know a hamster on a wheel like honestly like I crave for more and I crave for diversity as well and not just being diverse in culture but just being able to just explore and see what, what else I can you know accomplish past the fucking horizon YouTube is a part of that creativity for me and I enjoy it I really do it's not about the money I mean because you guys know people do get paid for you know uploading content here on YouTube you can it's not just about trying to make a quick buck either you know I'm here for different reasons so that's just my desires and that's what I really want to do and like I told you guys it's gonna be a chit chat so I hope you guys enjoy it I don't know I really haven't done one of these like that I just sometimes it's just good to just get on the camera and just talk and my hair is pretty much stretched out that's another reason why I like twist outs because if you're needing to pull your hair up or do a flat twist or anything like that it really keeps you from having to do a lot of detangling as well and the tricky part I find is trying not to flat twist your hair with the freaking twist because the twist be falling for it when you're trying to twist <laughs> that's the funny part to me so um oh my gosh so I'm gonna take some of this castor oil right here like you guys know I love my Jamaican black castor oil so enjoy helping Alexa on her natural hair journey like no lie like her hair has flourished so much like if you guys could have seen it like two years ago she was not happy with it but to actually see it grow and for her to actually love her hair you know she's get real frustrated with it and I used to be frustrated with mine that's why I went natural and to just see it really grow it's rewarding for me you know because it's like it's like in a way you love yourself again i don't know it's weird but it's not weird because with loving your natural hair and taking care of it it also teaches you to take care of yourself as a whole i started changing the way that i eat the way that i would drink and do all kinds of things like you just start changing not intentionally but it's just a natural change about you and it's pretty awesome so i'm going to lightly mist i mean ever so lightly Miss the front of my hair because I do not want it to shrink up. Ooh, yeah. And I'll touch it. So, yeah. Okay, that's good. Mm -mm. I'm putting them on there. It's going to shrink up. Because <laughs> my hair in the back, you guys, is like a 3C texture, honestly. Oh my God. This twist is going to be a problem. What has happened? Okay, here? so I've misted my hair with water. I'm going to take some more of this Cream of Nature spray leave in. And I'm really going to focus on the ends. 
So I really want to make sure that they're good to go. And I'm just going to work this through. And I'm going to detangle, but I'm going to make sure I use my wide tooth comb. That's why I said I really don't miss the front of my head because in the back, it's a 3C texture. And in the front, it is more of like a 4A, 4B kind of texture. It has a little bit of 3C in there, but ever so slightly. I'm, I'm telling you guys, ever so freaking slightly. And also too, I'll put my hair back in chunky two strand twists to make sure that my hair doesn't shrink back on itself as much just to help to keep it stretched while I'm working on the other section. So I'm gonna go on with the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Extra Extra Hold Edge Stay Gel. So this is what it looks like. Um, I talked about this briefly in my um, recent review and demo video, again, from the By May Beautiful Company brand of their purifying collection line. So yeah, but I really love this stuff. This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, and it's about $4 at Dollar General. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I don't really use a lot. I try not to use a lot because it creates product buildup on your hair. What I'm going to do now is just take this, um, and I'm not really the best at describing how to do a two strand twist, but I'll just kind of try to like show you. So I just kind of take a small, you just really try to get two sections of hair and you just kind of wrap them around each other. And I just take my index finger and I let it be the gag. So hopefully it looks right because I'm trying to use my mirror, but I have my camera in front of me trying to film. So let's see how this works, you guys. If it doesn't work, I'll just have to redo it. So, and you just wanna take your time. You just wanna make sure you keep tension, a little bit of tension on it, so that way the twist will actually lay tight and flat to the head. So, oh, it's looking pretty good. Uh oh, see, told y'all, I almost put a twist in there. Oh, look at them edges lay. If you just so happen to have any tips for people with thinning edges as a natural, please let me know down below in the comment section. Help a bitch out, cause I don't want to be bald headed. A little chunky, but I'm just doing this because I don't want to be bald with my hair for two more days. And then after that, I'll take this down, probably wear it in another high puff for another day and then wash my hair again so y'all get what i'm saying i try to let my hairstyles transition to another hairstyle here, my same old same old scarf i've been using for about <laughs> about the last four five years jesus it's been a long time and i'm just going to secure this bitch down secure it down lock in place so that's gonna wrap it up for the night, you guys. I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, you guys, so fully dressed and ready for work. Um, now I'm gonna go with my Too Faced lip injection. Oh my gosh, I have been obsessing over this stuff, you guys. Like, this stuff is like phenomenal. It really has made my looks like a lot plumper, like especially my bottom look. My hair is fully dry. Fully dry. So 
Now we're just fixing to get ready to do the tape down process. Um, only thing I have to do is just use a little bit of my castor oil. I thought I had ran out, but apparently I hadn't. So I'm just going to use that. enjoyed this video my king and queens if you did give this video a thumbs up comment down below and also do not forget to subscribe so that way you can be notified thank you so much for watching my king and queens and i will see you guys in the next upload be blessed